Samsung has officially revealed the Exynos 2600 processor, and it is quickly becoming one of the most talked about upgrades expected for the Galaxy S26 series. While many discussions are focused on its advanced 2 nanometer manufacturing process, that is not the only reason this chip matters. Samsung has made an important internal design change that could noticeably improve how the Galaxy S26 feels during everyday use, not just in benchmarks or extreme performance tests. To understand why this matters, it helps to know how modern smartphone processors are built. Most chips use different types of CPU cores, each designed for specific tasks. High performance cores handle demanding jobs like gaming, video editing, and heavy multitasking. Mid-level cores take care of common daily actions such as opening apps, browsing the web, and switching between tasks. Efficiency cores focus on saving battery while handling light workloads. In many processors, there are also very low end cores meant to manage simple background tasks using as little power as possible. With the Exynos 2600, Samsung has taken a bold step by completely removing these lowest end cores. Instead of relying on them, Samsung has shifted more responsibility to mid-level cores. On paper, this might seem like a small technical adjustment, but in real world use, it can make a meaningful difference. Low end cores are often the weakest link in a processor. While they are efficient, they struggle when many background processes run at the same time. Tasks such as sensing emails, checking notifications, tracking location, downloading updates, and keeping apps ready in memory can quickly overwhelm these cores. When that happens, the system has to move those tasks to stronger cores. This constant switching between weak and stronger cores is not always smooth and can lead to small delays, stutters, or brief lag that users notice during normal use. By removing low-end cores entirely, the Exynos 2600 avoids this problem. Background tasks are handled directly by more capable mid-level cores, which are better suited to manage moderate workloads without slowing down. This reduces the need for frequent workload shifting and results in smoother animations, faster app switching, and a more stable overall experience. This change is expected to improve the parts of phone usage that matter most to everyday users. Opening and closing apps, moving between multiple apps, using navigation and location services, and handling background data should all feel quicker and more consistent. Even in games, menace and system level interactions, which depend more on stable performance than raw power, are likely to feel more responsive. Samsung's move to a two nanometer process strengthens this approach. Smaller manufacturing technology allows more transistors to fit into the chip, improving both performance and power efficiency. Combined with the removal of low-end cores, the Exynos 2600 is designed to deliver power where it is actually needed, rather than relying on weaker cores that can become bottlenecks. Early benchmark results suggest that the Exynos 2600 performs better than previous Exynos generations and even competes strongly with some rival chips in certain areas. While benchmarks do not always reflect real-life usage perfectly, they do indicate that Samsung has made real progress with its in-house chip development. This is especially important because Samsung plans to use Exynos processors widely across the Galaxy S26 lineup. In recent years, Samsung leaned heavily on Qualcomm processors for its flagship phones. The Galaxy S25 series, for example, used Snapdragon chips globally. That decision helped avoid performance complaints, but it also highlighted Samsung's challenges with its own silicon. With the Exynos 2600, Samsung appears to be changing direction. Instead of focusing only on peak performance numbers, Samsung is paying more attention to how the phone feels during daily use. Smoothness, stability, and responsiveness are becoming key priorities, and removing low end cores clearly supports that goal. This approach is similar to what has helped Apple succeed with its own processors, where balanced performance and efficient core management result in smooth experiences without relying on extreme specifications. Although Samsung cannot fully replicate Apple's tight hardware and software integration because Android is a shared platform, using its own processor still gives Samsung more control. It allows the company to better optimize Exynos with One UI and Android features. Over time, this can lead to improved battery life, more consistent performance, and better long-term software support. Another benefit of removing low-end cores is predictability. When all active cores are capable of handling moderate tasks, system behavior becomes more consistent. There are fewer sudden slowdowns when background activity increases, such as during downloads or notifications. The phone stays responsive even under mixed workloads, which reflects how people actually use their devices. Battery efficiency is also expected to remain strong. The improved efficiency of the two nanometer process, combined with smarter task distribution across mid-level cores, should help balance power use. Maintaining steady performance instead of constantly waking stronger cores can be more efficient over time.
Overall reactions to this change have been mostly positive. Many believe users will notice smoother scrolling, faster responses, and fewer performance drops. While real-world testing will ultimately confirm these benefits, the early signs suggest Samsung is moving in the right direction. The Galaxy S26 series stands to gain significantly from the Exynos 2600. Rather than chasing raw power alone, Samsung is focusing on delivering a smoother, more refined daily experience. This processor represents not just a technical upgrade, but a shift in how Samsung approaches performance, efficiency, and long-term optimization for its flagship phones.